Guys, how you doing today? This is Mike from Wooly Bugged. It is Sunday, May 7th, and boy, let me tell you, it's been kind of a rainy, dreary, just kind of ugly weekend. And I'm out here on the Tulpahocken Creek in Berks County, um, fishing these uh, Keystone Select waters again. I know they did some stocking last week, so I want to see if I can get into some good fish today. Um, you know, it's uh, probably, I don't know, maybe in the low 50s for air temps today. I'm gonna take the water temp here shortly and I'll tell you what that is. Uh, but it's cooler than normal for uh, this time of year in May. But there's good caddis activity coming off. Um, you know, even with all this rain, with the Tulpahocken being a tailwater of Blue Marsh Lake, um, you know, they can regulate the flows out of the dam. So even though we've had a lot of rain, there's not really that many creeks coming into here uh, as tributaries to muddy the waters up too bad. So it's actually relatively clear for all the rain we've gotten. And if you look on the U USGS site, uh, boy, good luck finding anywhere else to fish in Pennsylvania or Maryland or New York or anywhere else in the mid-Atlantic this weekend, uh, unless you're fishing on a tailwater of some type. So um, let me show you guys what I'm using today. Okay guys, so I got the TR2 Able again today. I'm working the Scott G2 and I want to show you this fly here. This is the two-colored squirmy wormy. I call it the ice worm. It's got a little bit of pink ice dubbing in the middle. And uh, I'm going to be posting a video uh, in the next couple of days that shows you guys how to tie this and why I use it. I mean, basically, I have a philosophy that um, multicolored flies or color variation is very successful with stocked fish. Um, I can't really speak to wild fish, but I've read a lot of studies about steelhead, rainbow trout that just uh, love to hit flies that have two colors. So that's kind of my thinking behind that and check out the video that's coming shortly. And then up above that, I'm fishing a green caddis nymph that's a pattern that I picked up in the cat skills this past weekend at cat skill flies. I've got a gold bead and then that's going up to my football indicator. So that's it. I'm here on the top of Hawken and um, let's see what we can do. That's a good one. I saw it come up. It was it's a big brown trout. I will. He's heading for that hole. <laughs> See if I can keep him away from those logs. That is definitely a big fish.
It's on a, uh, a green caddis nymph. Probably about a size 14. Yeah, it is. It's amazing how these fish fight. Wow, that's a monster. That's got to be 20, 20, maybe 22, I don't know. Hey guys, so I'm out here fishing on the Tulpahocken Creek today. And, um, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fish today because it's been raining. But uh, down here below Reber's Mill Bridge, and I just hooked into this awesome uh, brown trout. He's just about 20 inches. He's just about right on the mark, but just an awesome pig of a stock trout. Um, real awesome to catch him, and uh, I'm going to put him back now. But uh, he took a green caddis pattern, a nymph pattern, that I actually got up in the Catskills last weekend, uh, and he just pounded it. So. Fish are on caddis. Um, surprisingly, the water is actually clear. Uh, I was actually expecting that it would be kind of stained with the, the little bit of rain that we've had, but so far so good, and uh, this is the best fish I've caught in the Tulpahocken this year, so um, see if we can get another one. There's one. No, I think it's a uh, a rainbow. Medium size. Oh, you just get off. It broke you. Really? I think so. I heard some snap. I swear it wasn't me. <laughs> Sorry, man. No worries.
This looks like a pretty good one. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good one. Another fat fish, holy cow. Fat round? Real fat. Yeah, that's a funny answer. That's gotta be like, that's gotta be a five, six pound fish. That's a big crowd. That. Guys, this is the second fat brown trout I've caught out of this spot today. It's just, the fish is a pig. <laughs> 